Good morning, folks, and welcome to another edition of City Hall Live. I am Joe Abeta, and this is our last show of the year. And with that, we have from the uh, Santa Fe Kiwanis Club, Judith Moyer. How are you doing today, Judith? I'm fine, Joe. Thanks for having me. And people are probably wondering, wait a minute, aren't those the people that do Zozobra? What is Judith doing here with us Those today? are the people that do Zozobra, but we are also the organizers of the annual New Year's Eve on the Plaza. That's this right. is the fifth year we're going to be doing it. That's right. And that's why they're here today, folks. That's why Judith is here today. So, okay, so fifth year. Mm -hmm. I remember the first year you guys did it. It was a, not as many people. It was pretty small because yeah. it was brand new. Brand new. Um, then Mayor Javier Gonzalez had come to the club and asked us if we would host and organize this based on our abilities with Zozobra. So we were probably about 1,500 people. Weather mm -hmm. was a little challenging, but we had a great time and a great party. That's right. And, and word got around. Mm -hmm. And then... Was there any kind of spectacle at the time that it had happened for that? We had we had a little fireworks display off of the top of the Catron building, okay. Okay. and we uh, had a small Zia that we raised because this is the city different, and we don't drop anything here. Yeah, we raise, raise something exactly. So we have um, upscaled the Zo uh, the Zia figure. It's a beautiful tin. Uh, creation by one of the local artists and we have beautiful numbers now every year we uh, inaugurate it with the different numbers for the new year that's coming gotcha and and it's grown since then it has grown last year we welcomed about 4,000 maybe 4,200 people and we're anticipating a bigger crowd this year again based on our success we uh, promote this event throughout the news the local new, newspapers thank thank goodness to the uh, Santa Fe New Mexican for being such a great sponsor uh -huh. K Suave does radio ads for us and so does Hutton okay. so I'm sure people are going to hear about it those ways yes and we also have a Facebook page it's on our Facebook event page, uh, the official burning of Zozobra, mm -hmm. co-hosted by the uh, City of Santa Fe, Santa Fe Arts Commission, Parks Department, who is great partners for us, and of course we have Environmental Services that puts all the recycling bins on the plaza for us. That's great. Let's so let's let's kind of plan out the night here for folks, right? Okay, sounds great. Because I know I know that uh, the restauranteurs of 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 this area of downtown really want folks to come and have dinner. Absolutely. At there, down in here at the, the plaza in the downtown area. And we have some of the world's best restaurants here. Absolutely. And, and they're willing to serve you. They want you to be their guests, right? So you have a dinner. Yep. And then afterwards, you walk down to the plaza. Correct. And it starts at 8 o'clock this year. We've moved it right? up an hour this year. We are, are going to start at 8 o'clock, and we have four different bands that are going to be playing for us. Yes. So all you have to do is come on down, have a nice meal at the restaurant of your choice, mm -hmm. take your time, enjoy. It's so much better than cooking on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. And then wander over to the plaza when you're ready. We're going to start with Soulfire, uh, Buddy and uh, Amado, Amado Obeda, some yep. of our favorite musicians. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Fun Addicts, and I can guarantee you that Crystal and crew are going to get everybody yes, rocking. Yes, Crystal, yes. Then we have Alex Mariel, Santa Fe's favorite blues guitarist. And oh, awesome. Then we're going to be finishing with Chongo, and by that time, I think people are going to be super warm, heated up, and ready to rock. That's great. That's great. And so when they show up to the plaza, they'll have music. Mm -hmm. It's a great date night, right? It's a great way of bringing oh, yeah. the family out. It's a family event, and, and, and you're there, and you're entertained. Mm -hmm. And there's also going to be, uh, there'll be some food trucks there. There'll be... A hot chocolate, I'm assuming there'll be free hot chocolate, free oh, hot chocolate, and free hot chocolate, uh, free hot chocolate and wow. biscuitos, the state's official cookie. Uh -huh. um, that's going to be provided by the Kiwanis Club. We have a nice oh, little wagon great. where people can line up and you know warm up. We also have a warming tent, so if people get a little chilly, they can go in there. And we have bonfires lighting lining the plaza, thanks to Rios Woodyard. Uh -huh. Those are really beautiful. We usually light those around 8:30, 9 o'clock. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And there will be stationary heaters around as well, so nobody's going to be cold. We do recommend that people bundle up a little bit. Yeah. Pay attention to the weather but we promise you won't be chilly. That's awesome. And plus, you also have the lights on from the plaza, too. Oh, the plaza so you looks... That you know, the plaza is just beautiful this yeah. year. City Parks did a great job putting those lights up. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then you, you hang out, and then starting at about 11.45, right? Mm -hmm. You the the, uh, every, the, the build-up begins. We'll have the countdown. Yes. We are going to have free noisemakers, thanks to the city of Santa okay. Fe. So uh, we'll pull those out. I'd say probably closer to 11, 11.30, so okay. don't need to bring those. But, of course, we'd love to see people dress up with their 2020 glasses. Yes. Bring your party hat. Bring whatever you like, except that it's an alcohol-free event. Okay. This is a family-friendly party, so alcohol is not permitted on the plaza, and we want people to know that in advance. Okay, that's, that's good to know also, I'm sure. Mm. Okay, well, it sounds great, and 
the event itself is free. The event is totally free. Okay. This is a great service to the city of Santa Fe. Kiwanis loves to throw a great party. After 50, 50, 55 years of taking care of this guy, I can promise you that we're going to have a great fireworks show. La Fonda now allows us to shoot the fireworks off their roof, okay. which is pretty impressive. This is yes. the oldest and most historic hotel in Santa Fe. It is. And to have fireworks coming off the top of there, I can tell you, it is just gorgeous when we raise that Zia. And we're going to have a better display. Last year was kind of a test run. Mm -hmm. Worked out great, so it's going to be a bigger and better this year. The Kwanians always like to, you guys like to always one-up your, uh, the previous year on, oh. on everything, right? So Zobra, this is no different than New Year's Eve. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Ray Sandoval is Santa Fe's number one pyromaniac. Yes, so he is. I guarantee that every year it's going to be different. Yes. No, that's great. Okay, so let's recap real quick. All right. All right, so we got the event starts at 8 o'clock. You'll start with music right away mm -hmm. at 8? Can we back up just a little yeah, bit, though, because sure. I do want to share about the road closures. Oh, people that's need right. To be we aware need to talk about that, yes. Uh, the plazas, the streets around the plaza will be closed at 10 o'clock in order to give us time to set up. Okay. And then we're going to be closing the old Santa Fe Trail from Water Street up to the plaza between 10 o'clock and noon. Okay. That's just so we can get the fireworks and the Zia up on the roof of La Fonda. Okay. And then that street will also be closed from 1130 at night to 1230, because that's where we're going to be launching the fireworks. Okay. Okay. So... So we're going to have uh, street closures, a couple of them that we just mm -hmm. went over, and then starting at 8 o'clock, music. Music begins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, music begins, and then festivities start. Bonfires. At bonfires, uh, food trucks, uh, heating lamps, hot chocolate, free hot chocolate. Free biscochitos. Free, free biscochitos. Uh, you have all that going on. It's going to be a great event, and it's free. You can bring your out-of-town families, members, to downtown and enjoy downtown and see it for what it is. See it at its best because you can have the great, the best food uh, at your restaurants down there and also come and celebrate at the plaza when you see the plaza looking so beautiful. Right. right. When we also encourage, um, you know, if, if uh, any hotel partners are listening and we're very grateful to all the hotel partners who have uh, sponsored us, mm -hmm. um, bring, let your guests know, you know, instead of having them sit watching the ball drop on Times Square, come down to Santa Fe and see what the city different does. Yeah. We raise, we don't drop. Yes, that's right. And you, they'll, they'll raise the Zia, and it's pretty cool. I've seen some footage of it. You guys had some really great Joan footage of it a couple we of years did, ago. We uh, did, thanks was, to Ariel Enchantment. Yeah. They did a beautiful job. It's good, good and stuff. It's, it's, it's a beautiful symbol. It's the symbol. We are the state capital, and mm -hmm. we, we just felt that it was important for us to honor our state symbol as well. And when that thing goes up with the fireworks behind it, it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, no, it, it is awesome. And to be in a great place like Santa Fe, especially downtown, the heart of Santa Fe, well, some people would say the heart. I think it is. I grew up here. I think it's the heart of Santa Fe being here and being in a very special place. It's our Times Square. It is our Times Square. It it's our plaza. And we love the plaza. We yeah. love being down there. Um, and I believe there is a better internet connection down there. So we encourage you to use the hashtag, hashtag Santa Fe NYE. Okay. Please use that and post your pictures on Instagram. We love to see them. That's awesome. That's great. Well, Judith, Thank you for coming on today. Well, thank you very much for inviting me, Joe, and thank you to the city of Santa Fe for giving the Kiwanis this opportunity. We love to throw a great party, and we promise you a really good time. Yeah, no, absolutely. Thank you again. And, and I guess we'll see you in, a, in a, what, in about nine months? No, you'll see us sooner than that. You'll see us for 4th of July. Because oh, we that's, also right, host that's that right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So the, the, yeah, the, fireworks. The, the, why, why fireworks, not, right? exactly. All right. See you in seven months then, right? Sounds great, Joe. All right, thank you so much. That sounds great. And folks, thank you for joining us today. We hope you have a, a, a safe and happy holiday and a safe and happy new year. Thank you for watching uh, our show. And I want to thank Christina and Adrian also for, for being such uh, great producers and, and keeping me in line and stuff. So, and, uh, so thank them. Folks, thanks again. Have a safe week. Have a great week. We'll see you next year. Adios.